G'day, it's Phil here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through 50 cent pieces, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. We have in front of us a 50 cent coin collection folder from the Royal Australian Mint. And we're trying to complete that. Uh, so far we've a couple of, or a few hunts in, and we still need to find uh, a few coins. Some of the older coins, 1970, 1991, something from 2000 and 2001. Centenary of Federation being the most uh, sought after circulated 50 cent pieces. And we've got uh, all the 50 cent pieces up from the year 2002 up until present. So I'll put the folder away. We've got rolls today, which we always pretty much have rolls. Let's uh, pull in a little bit. We've got rolls today. Uh, they are Prosica rolls, rolls from the Prosica Security Company, and we picked them up from the Westpac Bank. And they are ten dollars of fifty cent pieces. So we've got hundred and twenty dollars of those. So we'll go through the rolls, looking for coins worth more than face value and commemorative coins. We've got here a coat of arms that is the standard 50 cent design and we go through all of them at the end of the hunt looking for years of low mintage which is uh, 1985, 93 and 2020 and we also look for years where there was no 50 cent piece coat of arms issued for circulation being 1986, 87, 89, 1990 92 and 2005, and here we have a 1998, which is our first commemorative coin. And this is the Bass and Flinders, quite highly minted, as you'll see on the annotation. And what we'll do is we'll lay that down on the top row and make that a common commemorative row. And then we'll keep going through the rest of the coins at the end. As I said, I'll go through the other coins. There are some coins in some years that if I see it, I will quickly look through it or we'll look at it for a particular kind of error or uh, variation. Here from 1981, you have the marriage coin, the marriage of Prince Charles and Prince of Wales and Lady Diana Spencer, 1981. It's a common commemorative, so it goes up in the common commemoratives row. 2005, it's a commemorative as well. It is the secondary school competition winner for a 50 cent piece design, and that was designed for the Melbourne 2006 Commonwealth Games. Another common commemorative. So we keep going through, and here we have one that is not like the others. It has the coat of arms on the reverse, but on the obverse it has the commemorative design, which commemorates 50th anniversary of decimal currency in 2016, and it holds an image of the previous or the corresponding pre-decimal coinage, which was the shilling. And so we have that as a common commemorative, 7 million of those. And then we have a 2001 coin, and it will be... A commemorative as well. It is the Commonwealth coat of arms, the uh, highest minted of the 2001 Centenary of Federation set, and that is a common commemorative as well. And we put that up at the top row. So we're through the first roll now, and you'll see how that goes. We've got a roll here that looks like it was severely damaged in transit, and we'll need to, to get into our. Oh to get into the craft knife to get through it, which is a bit of a pain, not usual. There we go. Oh, lost control. All right. That's very unusual. Oh, look at that. We have inside that roll, we have the Royal Visit, the only coin with the one-off effigy this particular coin in 2000 it has an effigy that only this coin has so and it is one that we are looking for for the book uh, so I might put it down the bottom right down here uh, so that we can remember to put it in the book at the end of the hunt uh, but it is yeah definitely a, uh, a special coin in my opinion the uh, Queen's Effigy was designed by Vladimir Gottwald and it was uh, designed specifically for the visit of Queen Elizabeth II in the year 2000. There's a 1982 and that'll be the Brisbane Commonwealth Games. 
1982. It's not a bad nick, but it is a very common commemorative. There's a high number of those. And then we have a Celebrate What's Great, which is a celebrating Australia Day in 2010. Another very common commemorative, and we'll have to start a new row down the bottom there. Get another one of those. Oh. And then from 1977, we have the Queen's Silver Jubilee coin. And 1981, which will be another marriage coin, Charles and Di. And then the 2010 coin, we check for a rotation error. Uh, that has a propensity, or it has a known rotation error. It's another 82. And so one, oh, there's another 2000 coin, but that is got the IRB in rank broadly effigy, so it should be a Millennium coin. That is a Millennium coin, and we checked the Millennium coin for a variety called the Incus variety. That's not one of them, so that is a common commemorative, and it will go on the common commemorative row there. We'll do one more roll and then we will speed things up a bit and I'll just slow down to show you coins that we have not yet found in today's hunt. Or if it is a kind of particular note. Commemorative coins predominantly, but also for coins of particular note. There's a 2014. We look on the 2014 for a, a variety called the crop circle error, and that's generally whereby there is a small circle inside this little reed field here, in there, and that is an error of the die. So we look for that variety, that's not one of them. And then we have a 1995, and that's a commemorative that's celebrating the 50th anniversary of the end of World War II, and it is called the Weary Dunlop coin, because that is a depiction of uh, one of Australia's war veterans, Sir Weary Dunlop. It's another 2010. And so let's speed things up a bit now, and come back if we find anything of any note, as I... Make the coins into a stack so that it'll be easier for me to check after the hunt. All right, let's get into it. Ah, and there for the first time today, we see the 2004 primary school winner for a 50 cent piece competition. And that was designed by primary school students and then sculpted by one of our Royal Australian Mint sculptors into a format that would fit nicely and look great on a coin, apparently. A lot of people don't particularly like that design, but it is definitely a commemorative and it definitely depicts things that most Australians would recognise in one form or another. for the first time today we have 1994's International Year of the Family and that coin we can check for a wide letter date and that does look like a wide letter you can see that the 1 and the 9 and the 9 and the 4 the 9 and the 4 look slightly different or slightly bigger than the 1 and the 9 it's a fat letter year of the family that is a variety and you can keep that I do have a significant amount of those so I don't keep them I will point them out and there's others errors or varieties that I will point out and not, not necessarily keep because I already have a significant amount of them
And there, for the first time today, we have the 2005 Remembrance 50 cent piece, celebrating the 60th anniversary of the end of World War II. This is one of the coins that has a number of varieties on it or a number of errors where I would point it out if I found one, but not necessarily keep. And there, for the first time today, also we have the very first 50 cent commemorative coin, the Captain Cook, celebrating Cap Cook's voyage around Australia in 1770. And that is also another coin that we don't have in the book at the moment, so that'll be a keeper for us. I'll put it down here with this uh, Royal Visit, uh, even though it is a common commemorative, it's going to stay down there because it is going into the book. Oh, and there we go, look at that. We have a coin that is not very highly minted at all and is one that we have in the book, but it's always great to have because it can add value to our Red Poppy Fund. It's the 2014 IATSIS coin, the uh, Australian Institute of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders Studies, IATSIS. It's 1964 to 2014, the 50th anniversary of that particular institution uh, and that has the IATSIS logo on it at the front. It's a fantastic coin and definitely a keeper so that'll go down on the bottom row. Not that we've got much. Well, let's pull out a little bit just so that we can actually have a bottom row. There we go. We've got a bottom row now, the one with the IATSIS on the left and the keepers for the book on the right. So it's fantastic. Another coin that will add a value to our Red Poppy Fund. So if you're relatively new to the channel, you don't know about the Red Poppy Fund, I'm looking to uh, find a Red Poppy for my $2 coin collection book. If you haven't seen any of those $2 hunts, they're very hard to find. I've uh, been nearly 100 hunts trying to find that and in the meantime, what I'm doing is um, any coins that I find that are above worth above face value, uh, adding up the above face value uh, amount and uh, putting that towards a fund. And if I get enough, then I can buy a red poppy. And there for the first time, we have Australia's Volunteers from 
And that leaves us on to the last roll. So as we check through the last few common commemoratives, hopefully they'll be, be nice to grab an Eddie Marbo in here amongst these, but we'll see how we go. So 2000, checking for the Q's variety. There's also another variety where we call it the fat letter. Not sure that that one is the fat letter, but it means that the letters in the word millennium are just a bit thicker as the die degrades and gets a bit of a fat letter or the die was designed for a slightly, slightly different font. But that's not one of the millennium fat letter coins. So as we roll down, there's another 2010 to check for rotation error. No. And that's pretty much it. Again, not a bad hunt. Again, a nice later coin that saves us the Iatsis coin. They're very nice, but also a couple for the book. But before we go through all of that, let me quickly go through the coat of arms and I'll be back to tell you if there's anything in those of any note. Unfortunately, there wasn't anything of any note amongst the coat of arms, but for today we do have this Iatsis coin from 2014, low minted, the mintage to 3 million. So that'll go into the Red Poppy Fund. That's a fantastic find for the hunt. Haven't seen one of those for a while, although we do have one in the book. And then we've got the Captain Cook, 1970, first commemorative 50 cent piece, and the 2000 Royal Visit with the one off Gottwald effigy. Very nice, and that will go into the book. Everything else has, seems to be pretty right. So what we'll do is quickly pull the book in, we'll take our young Mr. Cook, we will slide him in there, and then we will get the Royal Visit and slot that in there. Hopefully stays in, but there we have it, which means that we've only got the particularly harder Centenary of Federation coins to find, plus the Ram's Head, 25th anniversary of decimal currency. So, now we're back to the real hunt, the hunt uh, for low mintage and uh, rare uh, coins. But if you enjoyed what I do today or did today, uh, please think about subscribing. Give me the uh, thumbs up and leave a comment and tell me what you're finding in your area. Do you find more of the Ram's Heads around your area than I do? I, don't, I haven't found that many really in the last sort of six to eight months, only probably a couple that went into the last couple of books. But thanks for watching and I'll be back for more noodling in a few days. So I'll see you then. Bye.